Hello and thank you for staying with us on Plus TV Africa. This is Tea Time where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my co-anchors with me, Benny Ark and Tenemi Dekombi. Hey guys. Hi. You guys are Benny, we just, we are you Benny, why is hugging on the show? That's, that's our hug. Why is No, we never ever use hug. We never use hug. What is your point? What is your point? You want it. Get out want of here. Want what? Want what? A hug. Oh. From who? So For me? No, I would not. Oh, sweetheart, really? Though. Yes. Don't do this now. <laughs> 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 okay, still on coronavirus updates, um, Uche Jumbo says President Buhari's media team should be sacked after his grammatical error from his um, brief. Um, he, the tweet says the whole of President Buhari's social media team needs to be replaced over COVID-19 video for not correcting him. Watched it and shared it. Now, even Ghana people on my timeline are having fun with it. I hope the Baba must speak to us WhatsApp group people are happy now. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think for me, um, what this coronavirus period is going to prove to a lot of people is the consequence of us electing irresponsible leaders. I think that um, when you look at even in the religious spaces or spiritual spaces, you look at the kind of leaders, you expect them to lead by example. When you look at other nations, other huge nations, you look at the fact that they are um, leaders are stepping forward, trying to calm the people down, trying to tell them what to do. You know, what they are taking mean charge. She hopes that the our president must speak. WhatsApp group people are happy. Was I it wrong know. for people to clamor for him to speak? No, 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 no. I don't think it was wrong because different um, leaders of different nations addressed their people. It's a pandemic. People are going to panic. We need the leader of the nation to say something to us. Whether it is a message of hope, whatever it is, we just need our leader to address us. I feel like that is him taking responsibility and saying that, okay, I see what you guys are going through. We are going to go through it together. I feel like it's a very, very basic thing for a president to do. So, a lot of people have been anticipating Bowari addressing the nation, and then when he finally did, it was very disappointing. Mm -hmm. really, in fact, for a lot of people, it felt like it would have been better if he didn't even address the nation at all, mm -hmm. than him addressing the nation and not doing anything positive. Benny, um, do I you want, think they should be fired? Um, this is right. I, I want to commend the president for making an attempt to... <laughs> number one, I don't what think... What an I, amazing yeah, commendation. Yeah, I want to okay. commend him. I think he made an attempt finally. Really? He, he, did, he did speak up. and well, that, but that was it in itself uh, on, that, a pres, on national address. I felt it was just, you know, something was going on. He decided to use that medium to address, um, address the people on the state of affairs when as it concerns coronavirus. Yeah, I mean, should, you, should they be sad? <laughs> this is it for me, yes. Why? Because I, I'm beginning to think there's a deliberate... Was that broadcast not live? It was live. I'm beginning to think, I'm beginning to think there's a deliberate a, a, attempt. I don't know by who. Um, Garba Shewu, Femi Adeshi now. I mean, you, you, you two of you are the, are the president's... Um, um, you're top on the president media, media, media team. And every time he comes out to speak, there always seems to be a blunder that occurs. I mean, how can a global pandemic like coronavirus, COVID-19, that has ravaged Some great nations countries. of the world, the entire globe, I mean, my president, mm. who I was looking forward to, to say something, <laughs> finally did say something, <laughs> and I heard him say COVID-19. Mm. Like, damn Mr. President, sir. It is not COVID-19, it's COVID-19. Mm. Now, my question is, they allowed that video still. Unfortunately, if it was live, there was nothing it could do. So yeah. why are you we know? blaming them? I, mean, I don't even think you should even do. blame now, the media. Is, should be I think there's nothing the media could have done. Point, this is my point. No, there's a whole lot they could okay, have done. Okay, I said this earlier. When they gave him the Benny. speech script, mm -hmm. right, did they sit with him and make him... This, I'm, was I'm, he I'm, ready to I'm, sit down did they to sit with him it? and Benny, go through I have one question. With him. I have one question. You know, COVID-19 got to Nigeria. COVID-19. COVID. COVID. <laughs> it got to Nigeria last... The name was strange just Last, <laughs> last week, right? Yeah. Right? Um, confirmed cases. Yeah, Is it confirmed last week or last two weeks? No, last, last two weeks. weeks. Last, last two weeks. weeks. But this has been going on globally for a long for time. Since about, last year. Is it last year? Yeah. Yeah, COVID nineteen. That's why it's COVID nineteen. When it became, when it became yeah. um, a pandemic, a pandemic was, was February. Yes, right? was, so that was, was last. Discovered, so it, started, it was discovered in one last year. Great. So let's let's say in the space of that's two the, months. That's the, that's the one nine there that my president called it. <laughs> so in the space of two months, yeah. I mean everyone have been following the story yes. to see even and know came to what is going on even before he came to Nigeria. Yeah. I correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a time our president tweeted to send his condolence 
and say we are supporting or something of that nature, right? So well, it every right-thinking right human <laughs> being, forget about him being a leader of the country, mm. every right-thinking human being have been following this story yes. and seeing it and hearing it, understanding the pronunciation. Are you saying that President Muhammad Buhari have not been watching the television? Well, he has okay. not been listening to radio. At least those are the two I can say for sure. He's not, right. he's not a millennial, so I can't say he has not been <laughs> tweeting, right? Are you saying he has not been following to blame a whole media team for him to come out to call COVID-19? Yes, I don't COVID think the no, media team no, is no, still blamed for let this. Why, let me hold up. Can I, let, me stop, let me give my explanation why I feel the media team should be blamed. Mm -hmm. we've, we've longed for We've anticipated. Oh, don't forget we've that they said they've clamored. been briefing him. We saw a picture where That's he was it, being up. briefed. Like, hold on, we've clamored for an address from our president, not even necessarily on just COVID-19 oh, yes, issued, mm -hmm. on some for, other on issues. On different issues, yes. Mm -hmm. Then finally, even Abula, though, exactly, yes. then finally we're going to get this address from him. They should him. have prepped him exactly. as a child. Ma what if they prepped him and oh, he's hold still... Up, guys. We're not privy to all of that right now. But uh, for me, and since I feel right, I'm, I'm saying I'm as not, a human being, I'm not, not holding as brief. A leader. I'm not holding brief for Mr. It is, President it is now. Disappointing. It is very, very disappointing, yeah. and I'm not even going to put this. You one guys, in I'm not. I'm not against you on this, right? But I'm not <laughs> holding brief for Mr. President. But I'm just saying for the fact that they they are pretty much aware that Nigerians have been waiting so much, like the second they return of Jesus Christ. Him. They should have ensured that he was mm. fully prepared. Somebody, they should have saved him. They should this have read him through the speech. National they should embarrassment, have which is sure that constantly characterized okay. every time but he has to say something to the people. Hear you, baby. Hear you. you know? Know? He's a baby. He's our baby. He's our baby. Sorry, so, Mr. President. Um, the error. I just felt some type of way that my hmm. president actually renamed, recodenamed it. COVID 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 I mean, he's a don. He can, he, that's what he does, right? He gives us new very names. Very but anyway, moving on real quick, um, but still on coronavirus. In a recent development, um, film exhibitors Genesis and Filmhouse have temporarily shut down operations in compliance with the Lagos State Government's ban on all public religious ga and religious gatherings in order to curb the spread of the virus. Yeah. You know, if I could stand up right now, I want to give a standing ovation to the executive governor of Lagos State, you okay. know, Babajide yeah. Saonlu. He's <laughs> doing a fantastic mm. job. Mm. I mean, people might have their, their opinions about us, about him, but I think he's been at the forefront. He's taken the front burner on this thing since it started. Kudos to his team. You know, really, kudos yeah. to his team also. I mean, he's and up and be, about. Okay, I want to say something. Yeah. Being in his position, and anybody in that such position, surely somebody like the president, the governor, Buhari and co, looking this good or doing, let's, let's call it doing your job and looking good yeah. at doing it should not be difficult. Yeah. Because you have people reporting on a day, in fact, what's a daily basis? Right now, it seems it's hourly yes, because every hourly. 30 minutes we see the, the, the number yes, is going to so, yes, People yes, are yes. reporting. So why, if you're not unintelligent, if you are not totally dumb, if you are not the person that would say you are irresponsible, why is it difficult for you to address people, even without holding a paper, to yes. say, this is the situation on ground, this is what is happening, then you can finally say, okay, you get more information from the Minister of Health, or you get yeah. more information from whoever it is, or the Commission of Health, depends on if it's the President or the, 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 the Governor. So, why is it so difficult for President Muhammad Buhari right now to be Isangolu, yeah. Well, he's not a Isangolu, unfortunately. I mean, we're talking about two different human beings and two different in, in, in terms in, of intellectual in terms of leadership, yes, in, in the leadership. same country. Listen, we're, we're talking about we're talking about two different personalities in terms of in, in um in, in tele, intellectual capacity, in mm. terms of leadership capacity, in terms of governance. We're talking about two different people. Let's go back to film. You know, Let's I mean, just go back to. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so I want to say kudos to um the executive governor of Lagos State. I think he's doing a fantastic job, mm -hmm. leading the forefront. I mean, passing out laws, shutting down places that should be shut down. Yeah. We can see he's making effort. Yeah. Yes, you know, and even be. proactive efforts to curtail the further spread of this virus. Mm -hmm. And I wish every other state government, you know, would do yeah. this. You know, which is what I asked. Um, last week we did had um, we had one of the um, the the. Um, Somebody from London who was who's running for for the uh, mayoral election in London did speak with us over the weekend. You know, I like when this was ravaged in China. Did the European nations did they sleep on days? Were they thinking it wasn't going to get to them? You know, so I'm hoping other states, are, those who have not doesn't have confirmed cases right now mm -hmm. are putting proactive measures they in place. They are not. Some of them That's are, it. though. You know, because they should right governor, now. What did like, he say? The, I saw Aqua Ibom State's <laughs> governor, what did he say? <laughs> you know, Niger State, they're they putting if, if they're not doing that right now, yeah, states. he came out to, to defend that. There is, I want to say there is no confirmed case of corona. I'm like, sir, that, nobody's arguing that with you, but what measures is in place for, to ensure that it doesn't get into your state? Don't come and give us 
And because he stood in front of the podium and telling us he wants to debunk the rumor that there's no coronavirus. And that's, that was our quiet bomb, isn't it? What measures in place well, to make sure it doesn't get into the state? Yeah. So um, I, the, the effort of his team, his team members are doing well. And I think we, we want to see more of this, mm. not just in Lagos right now, across the Federation. Okay. You know? Yeah, well, I would say that for me, I would say kudos to film house cinemas and all the other cinema houses who took to the initiative. Um, you know, because, yes, yeah, someone who did say that all these gatherings should be shut down, but there are some people who are not following that directive, oh, which they, we still they, saw they, on Sunday. They, because they, forcing, they, you know, they shut forcing, down. Forcing, so that's what I'm saying, that kudos around. to them. Kudos to them for realizing that, because I know that it's going to affect their business, but they are still going to shut down, you know, their business. So kudos to them. And also, I hope that other businesses would take from their example and put the lives of Lagosians first, because the truth is... This thing is increasing on an hourly basis. I like People the fact are dying. Said, yeah, put the life of Lagosians first, right? And so above I, their I, I, profits. I, yeah, above their profits. And this is the big question I have for religious houses. Who are they concerned about right here? Is it the human lives or their pockets? Well, a lot of them are concerned so, so about their pockets. That's the because I've been seeing more videos of pastors saying yeah. that for your offering, you can send it online. Yeah, about your offering, you can send it okay, through cash so out. I, think that's that's question, question, I don't think yeah. they yeah. care about yeah. the human right. beings. Um, what they call them now, religious leaders, right? Yes. Mm. You answer your question, but it's time for a quick break. And when we return, we'll have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Minimal are you? Hmm. music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi, like. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is TT Time on Plus TV Africa. Not to even lie, I am low key mad at China. The whole world should find them when all of this is over. The whole world is um, paying dearly for it. Stop eating certain animals. If this outbreak started in Africa, the way they would have contained it, the way they would ban and close their borders to anything coming from Africa is just unfair. People losing jobs, their lives, conspiracy or not, lab or market in Wuhan, this is insane. Um, then that's coming from media personality to Ken yeah, Mark so and first of all, when I read this, I was also like, yeah, I agree with her. But then I went to research about, I went to find out how did the COVID-19, how did it all start? So yeah, the reason why they even said that the coronavirus might be from a bat is because the coronavirus... Bat or snake, or the combination. Bat. bat. No, no, I'm, no, I'm not correcting, I'm saying yeah. bat or snake or the combination. That's actually what the research uh -huh. says. So, yeah. yeah, so because the coronavirus is similar to that of a bat. So there's no confirmation that somebody ate something. But that, they that was what fine Chinese people eat questionable things, but there is no confirmation that it was because they ate something in particular that this outbreak started. But I understand where she's but coming where did from. Where from? It started where? from one China, but we don't know if what it was because they, they ate something. It might have just been like a, a human being had the contact with an animal because the virus but is transmitted through an animal. animal. Yes, basically. But we don't know if they ate the animal. And I understand where she's coming from where because did they, when, when did, the, in 2014, where did the Ebola? Where did they originate from? From bats too. Um, bush, from an bushmate. Was it bushmate? Yeah, bushmate antelopes. I thought it was bat. It's a bushman. Yeah, yeah, bat and to the bushman. Yeah, so I wanted so to say that is, I understand where she's coming from. Eating. Um, we are not sure. That is not confirmed. That's just what people. But do. that's no, no, that's what there I've been going eating. around with the news. Actually, there was an eating not, somewhere uh, that happened. But anyway, yeah. make it yeah. right. So uh, um, the thing is, when you look at the Ebola virus that happened in 2014, there was a lot of racism, you know, as regards the Ebola virus because. 
a lot of um, the, the, there were universities that banned African students from their mm -hmm. campus because they were from Ebola affected communities, mm -hmm. and they made the Ebola virus become an, African, an African disease. Mm -hmm. It was it was like oh, only Africans can get this disease. So I understand where she's coming from because when the Ebola virus happened, it made a lot of people were pointing accusing fingers at black people. Oh, it's because of what you guys did. Blah 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 blah. And then when it comes to the you know. Um, one virus or the coronavirus. <laughs> a lot of people have called out. A lot of people have said that it is a xenophobic attack, calling it the Chinese virus. But the truth is, when you look at some of the names that they've given other viruses, they have, you know, Ebola is an African name. They named Ebola virus after where it came from. But I understand where she's coming from, but I don't still think it's an excuse to necessarily point to China and say that it is anyway, their fault. Anyway, so um, because Trump is calling it Chinese virus, I'm, I'm actually inclined to call it Chinese virus. I think we That's should. one. And secondly, I agree with what she has said, that if this virus started from Africa, there is no flight. At, which is no true. flight would leave Africa to enter any other continent. And the way it will be shut down will not be a joke, right? Yes. So um, she she writes to be angry. Yes, she is. But I think we should channel that anger more at our own government for not taking this serious. Um, the fact that they would always rise up to take things serious for themselves yeah. and protect their own is not a fault of theirs. It is the fact that they value human lives and they are not willing to just spill blood for the sake of spilling blood, especially when it can be prevented. Mm -hmm. So when this whole thing started, we know that there is movement between point A to point B, a planet, uh, say planet, a, <laughs> a, what's it called now, a continent to the next continent. Yeah. What did we do? Actually for Nigeria, as at the time Ghana was banning flights from the uh, um, uh, countries that are being affected heavily at the time. What did our minister of um, um, health, was it health or trust? What did he say? He said, night, oh, so nothing, we don't have plans to ban anybody. To ban any so I think she should channel that anger back at us and yeah. we, need, we need to begin to question ourselves. Like, yeah. do we really value ourselves and our leaders especially? What exactly do we have going through their minds? Because I also saw a news of one of a uh, member of the House of Representatives saying that um, the prisons, the people in the prison should be let go and we should begin to use the prison word to quarantine people that the would catch these diseases and i'm wondering so, how did these people get to being in the house how did they get to be senators how did they get to be our leaders no, no for, further to that further to the update to that now i think the the statement is read you know if the cases are not homicidal if they're not terrorism um, then there should be any kind of detention um, people should not be detained in the prison still as a way to ward off you know, the, the spread, to curtail the spread of the virus. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to blame anybody. I mean, I'm not blaming China. China. If anything, I'm sorry, I actually empathize and sympathize with them this, this period. I don't think anybody want to, why that was man made in a laboratory um, to, to test something or to reduce population. There, there are many theories out there. Yeah, there are many yeah, conspiracy yeah. theories yeah. out there, and I'm a big yeah. fan of conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think I, I sent blame, you on this morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. I blame our government. Yeah. You know, when the world was busy, I mean, I'm trying to grapple with this. If we are shut down our entry points in due time, Even when remember, it was very close, yeah. we did not. I mean, more than, more than half of the cases, um, 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 confirmed cases we have today were imported. People who came in Almost all. from outside. And so if we are shut our entry points when we're supposed to have, I remember this said Italian man was, at some point they were, they were treating like he was some celebrity. I don't get it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If they had done what they were supposed to do, we probably would not be talking what we're talking about right now. But mm -hmm. somebody didn't do their duties, and we, we all have to suffer for it right now. I mean, it's here with us. There's, no, there's no really not so much we can do about it any longer. Um, a little too late when they decided to now um, shut down our airports. Mm -hmm. It was with us already. Yeah. So Tokyo could, could blame China for all she cares, but our government should have been proactive more earlier than they did. Sure. Yeah. I think it also goes to even say, um, talk about the culture, quote unquote, in the world. Because if, like she said, if this virus originated from Africa, it would not have spread the way it did. They would just place a ban on all African countries. It's, it's, they would place a, a ban on all travels. It's a but given. because it's an, Euro because most of the people that brought it to Nigeria are European. You know, we feel privileged. We don't. We, feel we privileged. did not ban them. We feel privileged. Like, don't feel we feel, no, 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 the government feels privileged doing businesses, by like, like trade with these people. people are coming no, to the country. No, we can't. Ban we should I mean, ban them from coming. If if it was in their own country, they would ban us without thinking twice. Okay. 
Anyway, so, I mean, let's hope that we become more proactive as um, a people. Moving on to the next story, relationship blogger Jerome Murphy is speaking on the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on marriages and homes, stating that by the end of the quarantine, a lot of marriages will be over. He said 90% of husbands cannot survive without watching and betting on sports, night outing, side chicks for those who cheat. A lot of husbands don't want to be around their wives for some reason, and for wives, 80% are no longer used to making three square meals and some don't know how to hold decent conversations with their husbands however he said for some um, their bond may grow strongest at the end of the pandemic yeah. so i think it's two ways mm -hmm. your marriage might either come out stronger or mm -hmm. when you guys i think it's three ways though stronger weaker but the way it has always been mm. Mm. The way it has always I been, I feel know. like I mean, if you had a good marriage, I don't even get it. I don't even get this, 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 like dude, this, this no, dude's no, argument, no, man. I mean, I mean, because all, all, all I'm just hearing him say is at the end of the day, I don't get it. He's um. Are you saying there are his men? Are you saying there are his men? No, no, no. I'm saying no. This is my point. Is he saying men who watch who watch football, who who are footies, who bet, and unnecessarily they don't stay at home with with their family? He's I mean, saying that for listen, some this, of those, those men, those are, their, those are their, that's, that's their own way of escaping from do they, the reality. Do they, do they go back, but now they don't they, have do a they choice. Do they go back home to their family? To sleep. Exactly. To sleep. That's, good. that's their activity. To sleep. But that's now they, they have to That is their hobby. You know, but at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm, 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 not, I'm not making what sense. Okay, what about the side chick on? What about the side chick? Mm. They will not be able to meet the side chick. There are men who love their wives. No, no, to the he, moon he, and they Joro, outside Joro is not saying, not saying all marriages. that um, these people would not survive. He's saying yeah. that some would have issues. And I remember, is it if I'm So basically, what he's just saying, okay, 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 if I understand yeah, him properly, so all he's trying to, if, I, if I get him, all he's trying to say that, that many marriages that exist today have a whole lot of dysfunctions. That these many, are, yeah. these yes, are it this is the 30 truth. days quarantine or stay at home. It is um, the truth. We reveal. Yeah. Yes, yeah, okay, it is the truth. Good. There yes, are a lot of problems yeah. that a lot of people in their but lives. Say, but okay, to take these 30 days is the reason why some people break up. It's no, not necessarily. I mean, there, there, there he also said that people break up and some people yeah, also there, come out so much longer. There are dysfunctions in every marriage. There are dysfunctions in every relationship. I mean, So So you don't think that this quarantine period might amplify some or might strengthen some relationships. You don't think it's going to weaken some. 30, you don't think it's going days. to. Come. to some 30 days is a lot. 20, 20 30 years. days, 24 nah, hours, I don't, I don't, 30 I don't, days. No, I don't subscribe to it. I don't. Okay, so don't. Um, just make sure your relationship grows stronger because um, coronavirus will go and you have to be family and remain one because you are married and I say so. <laughs> it's time for a quick break. When we come back, we have one more story to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> There is no excuse or genuine reason for rape. No strong woman deserves to be violated. In fact, there should be a law that says chop off the penis of any man found guilty of this evil act. And this is coming from Mr. Dodge. I think he's an upcoming artist. Yeah, right? I think we need to be a strong like, woman. Like an, like an artist, a musical artist? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Is this, is this like his way of trying to gain. Um, yeah, Popular, which is why it's not even I think it's anywhere. promotional mm -hmm. because the name of his so. songs, the name of his song is Strong, strong Woman. He even put hashtag Strong Woman. I mean, I even wanted to say that this uh, no strong woman deserves to be raped. I'm like, no woman, I, 
Exactly. No, no woman, woman deserves to be no raped. No woman, no girl, yeah. no child, no baby, nobody deserves to be raped. So the old no strong woman deserves to be raped. It just threw me off. So having the strong entire... behind his uh, yeah, hashtag is because there really are Because there <laughs> are children who are being raped that you would not necessarily call strong women. Except he's coming to say everybody's strong. Except if he's coming from that perspective. But the old strong women, I've heard it several times. You know, people say that, oh, why did you allow this happen to you? Blah, 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 blah. You know, so I feel like when you look at um, the uh, when you look at the peculiarities of different people's situations, no rape experience is the mm -hmm. same. So yeah. when you start putting um, you know adjectives, no strong woman deserves to be raped. For people who were actually raped, it's kind of like sending a mixed True. message to them mm -hmm. that maybe they were, were weak strong. or maybe they were not strong, maybe they did not fight hard enough. So you can just say no woman deserves to be raped. No need for adjectives. So or his, uh, his PR team did not. Yeah, say. they did not. Try. They didn't dig yeah. deep. They yeah. did not dig you know, for me, I'm, I'm going to come from this way. I think it's a societal thing, right? We we they tell you. All, all we are, that they're men and they're women. When you begin to say real man, it's because that's something you're trying to achieve. When you begin to qualify a man with real, mm -hmm. you know, it, and sometimes it stems from a place of selfishness. That's something you would want to derive for using that. So you, you come to sight and say, he, he's a real man because you feel there's certain things real men do that mm -hmm. ordinary men in, in your labeling and mold don't do. You know, <laughs> so at the end of the day, using the word no real, no strong woman should be raped, just totally. It, it throws me off and yeah. it loses the whatever whatever, whatever message trying to pass yeah, across because um, no woman deserves to be raped. Mm. And do I think there are weak women out there? No. Do I think there are stronger women? They are women. I mean, they have their peculiarities. They have the things. They have their strengths in. They have they have their weaknesses. And so you don't come to qualify any any woman as strong and the other as weak. And when it comes to matter of rape, that's that's a social issue. All right, so no woman at all should be raped. Mm. Either weak, either you feel they're vulnerable or you took advantage of their vulnerability. And so um, he, should, he should mind how he wants to um, launch his career. Is the song out already? I don't even know. Okay. Maybe it is coming. Maybe he, if it's not out, then maybe he needs to change the hook. Mm. From the strong, mm. strong yeah. woman to, mm. to woman. Just okay. woman. You know, let's, let's just be woman out there. I mean, mm. Not strong, not weak. Rape is a crime, don't commit mm -hmm. it. And that's yeah. how I wrap up this episode of Sea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can watch this conversation all over again by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can also watch Sea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My, many thanks goes to Nimide Kombi and Beniak and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Sea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin, and please do practice social distancing.